Many people are losing out on thousands of dollars in Social Security benefits. I hope you are not one of them. One of the problems is that there's 567 different strategies to choose from. In this video, I want to share with you some of the big changes to Social Security in the upcoming year and how you can make sure that you don't leave a dollar on the table for Social Security benefits for you and your household. Hi, I'm Mark Singer, founder of Your Retirement Authority. And for anything retirement income, retirement planning, or Social Security, click on the link below to subscribe to our channel. And make sure you hit the notifications bell so you're alerted to when we post new videos. So I want to start today with a study that came out recently that showed that trillions of dollars are being left on the table. So let me take you to my screen for just a moment. In June of 2019, United Income authored a study that said Americans lose trillions claiming Social Security at the wrong time. It shows, first, that the study's conclusion was that 96% of retirees choose the wrong year to tap Social Security. Matt Fellows from the Chief Executive Officer of United Income said, people are pretty much doing the opposite of what they should be doing. Most people are better off waiting until 70 to claim. 43% are actually better off claiming before 70. And the big takeaway from the study was, by claiming at the right time, more than half of retirees would see income in their 70s and 80s rise by more than 25%. So what this study seems to show to us over and over again, that with so many strategies available, 567 of them, it's very difficult to make the right choice at the right time. You've only retired once. You've only reached the age of 62 or 65 or 67 or 70 one time. So you may not be exactly clear on what would be the best for you and your family with regards to how to maximize Social Security. So this is very important to understand the details so you're not leaving thousands of dollars for you and or your spouse that could be very important to the future of your retirement. So I'm going to share with you those seven changes right now, starting with recipients will get more money in this upcoming year. For 2021, Social Security beneficiaries will be receiving a cost of living increase. This is both good news and bad news. So the good news is that the cost of living adjustment, the COLA, will be an increase of 1.3% this year. That means about an extra $20 per month per average Social Security beneficiary, which is about on average $1,543 a month on average. That's good news. It's going up. However, the, the bad news is it's the second lowest increase in quite some time. So the good news is it's going up. I guess the better news is inflation is lower, which is indicating to the trustees that they only need to deliver that 1.3% increase looking forward in 2021. The second change to Social Security is that full retirement age is inching up. So full retirement age is the age at which you get 100% of your benefit. So if you choose to take uh, Social Security before your full retirement age, then you'll be reduced the amount that you would get in the penalty phase, I call it. If you wait till afterwards and get some deferred credits, you'll be in the bonus phase. So starting in 2021, that full retirement age is going to inch up by two months to 66 years and 10 months if you're born in 1959. If you're born in 1960, that full retirement age will peak at 67 in 2000. 22. So I want to share with you the importance of when to collect so you're not leaving those trillions of dollars on the table. So let me take you to my screen. So let's take a look at this chart 
And it's the assumption that your full retirement age is at age 67. And the question is, why delay benefits? And this assumes that the full retirement age amount is going to be $2,800. And we assume over time, because this is what the trustees of the Social Security Administration tell us, that there'll be a 2%, 2.6% annual cost of living adjustment looking forward. Obviously, that's higher than what we're going to experience in 2021, but this is the assumption over a long period of time. So assuming that you're, um, if you wait to age 67, and you take a look at the column that says benefit without cost of living adjustment, and you come down to age 67, you'll see the $2,800 number, and next to it to the left is the 100%. So you're getting 100% of your $2,800. Now, if you start, however, at the age of 62 and you move to the middle column where it says benefit without colas, that $2,800 has now been reduced to $1,960 or only 70% of what your benefit would be. And that assumes no cost of living. However, let's say you waited to age 65, you'd get $2,427 or about a 13 to 14% decrease. But if you waited to age 70, if the planning allowed you to do so, you'd maximize your benefit at that time and you'd get 124% of your full retirement age, or you'd get $3,472 instead of the $2,800 per month. And if you assume you're going to get a 2.6% inflation, then the last column shows that if you're 62 today and you waited to age 67, your full retirement age, that 2,800 would have grown to 3,183 because you're going to get an 8% increase each year plus inflation. And if you wait till age 70, you'll actually get $4,263. So there's a lot of money on the table that you need to be considering and why you might be better off to delay taking your benefit, particularly not at age 62, and maybe not at full retirement age. At 67, you may want to wait till age 70 if the planning suggests that you can. Now, there is another element to this, too, in terms of when to choose your Social Security. And it's with regards to if you're married and spousal benefits. And one of the changes um, that is, isn't even listed as one of the top seven, it's just sort of a bonus, if you will, but it's a bad bonus is that the restricted application, which was something that we could use up until the very end of this year, is no longer available after this year. So you really need to coordinate those spousal benefits, making sure that your surviving spouse is going to be taken care of. And I know there's an awful lot out there in terms of strategy and planning, and that's why we put together the master class. So if you're interested in learning more about more of the strategies, click on the button to become more aware of the master class and you can take a look at that class for yourself. Now the number three change is that high earners can expect to pay more in taxes. In 2020, you paid Social Security taxes of 6.2% on the $137,700 of income. Above that, there was no additional Social Security tax imposed. For 2021, however, there is an increase, and that number will go up to $142,800, which is roughly about a 5% increase from where it was last year. So you can expect to pay a little bit more in Social Security taxes. Now, the number four change you should be aware of is even the wealthier, even though you're going to have a higher tax bite, if you are wealthier and you are now collecting Social Security, you will get more in terms of that full retirement age as that benchmark. If you had started taking at full retirement age last year, then the amount that you could have gotten from Social Security for full retirement would have been capped at $3,011. That number next year is going up to $3,148. But that assumes, one, that you collected or started to collect at full retirement age, and two, 
that you had worked for 35 years and your highest 35 years did not include a zero for income or that would have reduced some of that benefit that you could get. So as long as you worked for a long period of time and you had gotten earnings during those years, then you could hope to get to that maximum of $3,148 per month for 2021. We're going along the list and just after this one, I'm going to share with you what I call the tax torpedo. But the next change that you should be aware of is that the disability thresholds for income are going up. Now, you may not be aware of the fact that 9.7 million people do receive income from the Social Security Disability Insurance Trust. Now, they are allowed to earn a certain amount of income up until such point that they'll still collect Social Security and above that income, they will not. For example, for non-blind beneficiaries, they could earn up to $1,260 per month in 2020. And that number will be going up to $1,310. For those who are blind and receiving benefits, the number for 2020 was $2,190 per month, where in the upcoming year in 2021, that number is increased by another $80. Now, here's where we're really talking about something that you know is important to many, which is taxes. And the withholding threshold for early filers has received a boost. And before I get into this, I want to give you a nice refresher about what the tax torpedo is and I want to share with you my screen right now. So let's talk for a minute about what the tax torpedo is. And first we have to identify what is provisional income because that's what is taxed when it comes to your tax return and social security. So your adjusted gross income plus one half of your social security income plus any tax-free income, let's call it municipal bonds, is what is determined to be your provisional income. So why is that important? So let's take a look at the table. If your provisional income is, and you're filing married jointly, is over $44,000, then upwards of 85% of the Social Security benefit can be taxed. If you're between 32,000 and 44,000, then the amount of, of Social Security subject to tax is up to 50%. Numbers are a little bit different if you're single. If, you're, if you uh, do over $34,000, then up to 85% of that provisional income is going to be taxed at your tax bracket. So that was just an understanding of what your taxation on your normal benefits will be. But let's talk about if you filed early, what the tax ramifications might be. So if you apply for Social Security before full retirement age and you work, $1 in benefits will be withheld for every $2 you earn over $17,640. That was back in 2019. The benefit will be adjusted at full retirement age. OK, so with this as a backdrop, let's take a look at what's happening looking forward. So now that you understand a little bit about that and you understand that if you do claim Social Security while you're still working and you're not yet attained your full retirement age, then one dollar for every two dollars you earn will be withheld. And the threshold for 2021 is eighteen thousand nine hundred and sixty dollars. For every, so in other words, for if you earn more than that, $1 for every $2 above $18,960 will be withheld from your Social Security benefit. Now, you can get it back once you start at age full retirement age and they'll start to prorate it back to you. So it's not withheld forever. But for right now, it's a consideration that you may not get the most for your dollar right now. There is a little bit of a curve to this, if you will, 
in that if you're going to be full retirement age, let's call it in 2021, and you've filed and you're still earning some income, then you are allowed to, for 2021, earn up to $4,210 per month until you reach full retirement age during that year. And during that time, just from here until whenever you reach full retirement age, $1 will be withheld for every $3 that you earn. So it's a little bit different in the year that you'll be achieving your full retirement age. But any year before that, you're going to be withheld $1 for every $2 that you earn. So it's very, very important to understand this threshold and the tax torpedo that it comes with it. Finally, the seventh change is you will have to earn more in order to receive a credit starting in 2021. Now, it was until 2020 that you needed to earn a minimum of $1,410 per month in order to receive one full Social Security credit. Going into 2021, that is increasing to $1,470 per month. So if you earn in 2021 at least $1,470 you per month throughout the year, you will earn that one Social Security credit. I hope you got here with me. There are big changes, right? But it's really important to understand that if you're going to make sure that you don't fall into that trap, whereas United Income said at the beginning of this video, that trillions of dollars are left on the table because people make the wrong decision at the wrong time. It's really important to do the planning and to make sure that you incorporate proper social security strategy so that it can help you to maximize your entire retirement income. Make sure to take a look at our social security videos as you browse through our channel. Thank you very much for watching and I really do hope you enjoy the retirement journey.